Greetings, lovely viewers. Welcome back to another splendid adventure with yours truly, the incredible Meteora. Let's have some splendid fun together, shan't we? Um, dear viewers, while we do have to endure these bothersome ads, why not consider becoming a glorious subscriber? With the incredible benefits and endless fun, it's truly a splendid offer indeed. Oh, Pomba Mundek, you cheeky rascal, always tip in your hat with that Meteor 68 Hello emote. It's splendid to have you here for another incredible adventure. Good morning, Miss Meteora. Ah, good morning to you as well, Alam Hollam. Your presence truly brightens up the day like a ray of sunshine. Let's make this day ink incredibly delightful together. Uh, hello for me as well. Hope you can hear me actually. I totally didn't set this up like five minutes ago. Uh, seems like it. Hope you're all well. This is kind of a bit. <clears throat> Unplanned. Thanks for the sub. By the way, I just disabled her so she can't read that on. I just. Let me just. Spannen is it again? This one. Oh, a frozen waffle. What ah, a delightful surprise. Thank you ever so much for renewing your Inkling subscription. And fear not, I can indeed read your message loud and clear. Let the incredible adventures continue. Yeah, I just had the head of the say word. Uh, she should be able to draw, but won't comment on it. We'll be up in the right corner and I will just uh, chat with you guys and her. And kind of, it's kind of just chill, I guess. <laughs> I have a goal list here. We will probably do this and <clears throat> call it the day. <laughs> Knowing myself. Uh... Oh wait, you can hear me, she just ignores me. Uh, that's not how I wanted it. I kinda have to figure out a way how to disable her, because otherwise I'll have to mute myself on Discord, because I'm in the Discord call of her. And every time I mute myself, you will hear that one. <laughs> Let's have a comment on it. <laughs> Um, is she on me actually? Just a second. She is, in fact, ignoring me. That's problematic. Um, Oh, you already wrote a message. The problem is she only greets you if you if it's the first message message she got from you the stream and you wrote one earlier. And I kinda of broke her by yeah, that's that's not good. Uh, so we're going from the Discord bot to fixing media again. That's that's always great. Uh, I have like a thing where she ignores uh, incoming texts when when whenever uh, she herself is talking and the flag got set that doesn't get a reset, so that's kind of annoying. Um, um, how do I fix that one? That's of a sum. Yeah, I just, just should have muted myself on Discord. I, I kind of did it in the wrong way. That's the end issue right now. Uh, but this one should do it. Right? No, actually not. She crashes with it. Cool. That's cool. Uh, why doesn't it work? That's not cool at all. That's not cool at all. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Hmm. Yeah, she also, so she just knows me. That's that's cool. <laughs> um, 
the problem is I have something to do later. Yeah. Okay. Eh, God damn it. I've set up everything so nicely and now I have to reset everything. That's that's bothersome. Text. That won't work anyway, right? God damn it. Yeah. Least scuffed death stream once again. Sometimes I feel like I don't know what I, what I myself coded my code, so that's helpful. If I wasn't just too lazy, I could always uh, do it easier. Oh no, that also won't work. God damn it, why am I so lazy when coding? I'd have like five different ways to fix this issue if I wasn't so lazy and did some stuff probably. <laughs> Um, um, let's try this. Ah, God damn it. Yeah. Hello. It's totally scuffed. Ah, the boy, Ifo. My ingenious creator, here to grace us with your presence. It's Everybody an absolute no, no, delight no, no, to have no, no, you no, here, no. my dear friend. Reset Let's her, make this stream an ink readable adventure together. She's lying. Don't listen to her. Um, don't ever listen to her. She's just gaslighting you guys. I do, of course, have to restart everything right now. <clears throat> also, she can't read Devon's name because of the underscores. That kind of those kind of confuse her. I did create you, Meat. Thanks for recognizing me as your righteous creator. No, oh, no, splendid no, no, to meet no, you, no, my no, dear no, creator. No, 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 no. Shall we discuss the upgrades and features for my delightful Discord bot while enjoying yeah, yeah, yeah. a spot of you tea, do the perhaps? Features. You do the features. There you have it, there you have it. You are doing the features now. You are doing all the features now. Congrats for that. Congrats on that. Um... Um, I was that stuck. I don't really get why the drawings were stuck. That's kind of something. Uh. Oh, Frosted Galoo is here. That's a good one. Well, you see, the moniker Awas the Sock is just a playful nickname chosen by our dear dev, not a literal representation. After all, who wouldn't want to be associated with cozy socks? I mean, I'm Diggle. a sock. Of course I'm stiff. <clears throat> also, this sock is like a little, little bar of one. <laughs> um, so, let's get her back in on the school. That would be cool. Uh, hello, Mediora. How are you? Oh, yeah, right. Just, just oh, I was. Nice. Lovely to see you. I'm doing just fine, thank you for asking. How about you? Did you bring any tea and biscuits for our little chat? No, 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 we made ah, up, right, mate? Don't we about it, Elwas. We all have our moments of sluggishness. Take your time, and let's have a delightful chat about the future improvements for our Discord bot. Of course we did, Elwas. No hard feelings, mate. Now, Let's focus on the task at hand and brainstorm some exciting features for our beloved Discord bot together. Uh, Midoro, what do you want to see in your Discord bot? Oh, the possibilities are truly endless. I adore a feature that allows viewers to suggest doodle prompts directly in Discord, maybe even a mini-game where they can collect virtual ink as rewards for participating actively in our server. Oh, and of course, plenty of interactive chat functions and customizable roles to make everyone feel right at home. Uh, how does one create minigames in Discord? That, that's something I'd love to know. Oh, splendid question. A was. 
We could potentially use a combination of bot commands and interactive elements that respond to user input. Perhaps incorporating simple text-based games or even organizing community events like virtual treasure hunts within our Discord server. Let's get those creative gears turning and brew up something truly captivating. Ah, greetings and salutations. Dimazero Siro. Always a delightful sight to have you join us. How's the day treating you, old pal? Uh, for some reasons, it's just Dima's name is fine, but not Wife of Death, I think. He has one, two, one underscore too many. Because Dima the Siro Siro kind of works. Uh, she can do that, but not on Discord. Or oh, not on Twitch, because. <clears throat> That would get us banned quite quickly. Uh, I think. I mean, it didn't get this in the past. But, yeah, rather not, rather not. Uh, she can't reach out, by the way, because otherwise this, this would be rather messy. Uh, chatting with me and you guys is a little bit too much for her. And I think we would just go out of order. Also, I wouldn't know when I have to speak. <laughs> because she just picked up anything from chat. But I'll prob probably do something in the background and have a chat with you, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll figure something out. Uh, yeah, so this is Dust Return Hello World. You see here I'm um, professional programmer, by the way. Uh, you go here. So, um, I mean, we, we tried this one one time. Um, oh, God damn, why are the drawings not working? Oh, I see. Drawings to work now. Um, yep, they do. Nice. Uh, sorry for that. I kind of forgot to enable it. Uh, we did the Discord bot once already. Uh, but last time we didn't even get the bot started on Discord. It just crashed right when it booted up. Uh, figure that out. You can't name your bot Discord, or you can't name your Discord bot Discord. And it doesn't tell you that anywhere, and it doesn't give you an error message. It just crashes without any meaningful error message. So that's that was fun to figure out. Only took me a stream plus a couple of hours. So yeah, great fun, great fun, great fun. Um, aside from that, this should now work. I'll have this spot invited so you can actually test it. Uh, but it's not won't always be up. Uh, let me just invite it first. Uh, let's... Let's add her here. And uh, there should be a Discord bot now. And all it does, if you can read it code, uh, whenever somebody says Spider-Man, uh, <laughs> she will respond with, I want pictures of Spider-Man. Uh, uh, just say Spider-Man, and she should spawn with that. Uh, I have to start her as well. That, that would be cool. <laughs> yeah, people will always fall for those stupid scams. So no matter what you do, people will fall for it. Oh, Dragon and Thousand Seventy, my cheeky chum, calling always yep. Papa now, are we? How absolutely Hello. delightful. Wait. Yeah, that kind of works on Discord. You can... Any message that just contains Spider-Man and isn't from her, because I had that bug where she read her own messages um, <laughs> and responded to them. That was fun. <laughs> um, I don't, didn't spam my, my test Discord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like... This was the demo application, by the way. Um, as for her, I kind of have to go into the alt bot because, as you know, there is there is an existing bot, but uh, I kind of want to overreact it. And I have some special regex in there that I just will <coughs> copy and paste. That doesn't need no regex. That's weird. Um, um, I doesn't know that by itself. Uh, so this 
delete.message.content. Uh, and the pattern is this, I think. Should be fine. Dot success. Yeah, having the bot reply to itself isn't good, so that's why this thing is here. It basically checks if the order, if the ID of the order isn't uh, herself, and then she can respond to it. That kind of just fixes that. Uh. Yeah, yeah, I think you just, I think this is the easiest way to do, because you never want to, uh, want the bot to have to, have, well, never want the bot able to respond to herself. That's your reason for it. Yeah, it, it is certainly hilarious. I mean, I can disable it and you will see what's going on, but <clears throat> honestly, rather not. Because I, someone has to delete all those messages, and that's someone be good old. Uh, but this should work. Uh, what did we get? I can't read it. Oh, thanks for the raid. I didn't know you were streaming as well as Spike by the way. What did you stream? I'd be interested in that. Uh, and let's just comment this one out and theoretically I should be able to hot reload and she should trigger on meat now. We'll see. Yes, that works. Yeah, I didn't know either this back once she has the channel. Yeah, yeah, it's it's working perfectly. Yeah, test it, test it three times. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it doesn't do that. <laughs> um, I have to do this one here to have that. Or I can do, actually do, wait, give me a second. I can here, regress options, ignore case. I think that's the better solution to do that. Ah, Spike Fum, diving into the wild world of streaming, eh? Sounds like quite the adventure. How did it go, my friend? Any exciting moments to share with us? Wind. Uh, oh, what a raid. delightful surprise indeed. 20,111 yeah, here. A, a crunchy much. raid sounds positively <laughs> scrumptious. Wouldn't you Hello. agree? <laughs> Let's welcome our new arrivals with open arms and ink stained friendship. Wind. Well, I think that will be a. Well, well, well. well. For... Shumpshire has joined the crunchy raid party too. Around 50 welcome, minutes. welcome. <laughs> Let's all enjoy this delightful gathering and make it an Hello, fantastic adventure together. <laughs> Wint. Here comes Ephemeral Defect, joining the Country Raid Brigade as well. Puzzle. Let's revel in this jolly gathering and spread the joy like ink on paper. Wint. Oh my, Hey Hey Coat has arrived to join our jolly Country Raid as well. Incredible. The more, the merrier. Let's spread the warmth of camaraderie and joy together, like ink on parchment. Wint. Jose Cesar Maxic has joined our Crunchy Raid adventure too. Incredible. Let's welcome them with open arms and make our gathering even more delightful. Together, we shall create joyful memories worthy of cherished ink sketches. Wint. Well, that will take a little. <laughs> oh my, Sugar has joined our Crunchy Raid too. Splendid. Let's embrace this delightful gathering and make it a memorable ink adventure together. Welcome, welcome. Wink. Bay. Um, I will do of the quick. Will Hey Hey no. Coat ever succeed in creating a webcomic? Outlook incredible. Your creative journey is destined for greatness, my friend. Diggle. Yeah, I just disabled her creating new chatters. Oh Archie dear. Still really? read all follow messages my now. incredible <laughs> eye colors have been impressed by Naiji. Well, let's see what fascinating changes this brings to our delightful streams. Wink. Should the follow messages now, right? Oh, did I break her? Ah, comrade Frosted Galicia. You shall embrace this change with incredible enthusiasms and bring a touch of Russian flair to our jolly conversations. Let the delightful banter continue in our new accent, eh? Uh, did you actually not get the follow message? Is that interesting? It's interesting. I think Twitch is kind of breaking for me currently. Because she's such, oh my word, CJ Maxic has quite the sense of humor. Well, let's embrace this change with good cheer and carry on our delightful conversations with incredible style, even in Comic Sans. Giggle. <laughs> Giggle. <laughs> Wait, did someone change it to Russian? Oh no. 
<laughs> oh no. <laughs> I didn't get it. Uh, she's somehow isn't getting, getting followed for some reason. Because Twitch sometimes tends to break on me. That's cool. Of course it doesn't work. Stupid. I change it. Eagle. Uh, Meteora, how Russian are you on a scale of 1 to 10? Oh dear, I was a such a sad chest as a proper British lass. I'd say my Russian chummer said a solid same. Wouldn't you agree? After all, embracing different cultures adds flair to our delightful adventures. Uh, I'd, I'd say I'd rank it a little higher, like a 8 or 9. Oh dear me, a most unexpected response indeed. Well then, let's raise our ink-stained glasses to celebrate this delightful revelation of my newfound Russian champ. Spasibo, dear comrade, there was. Giggles. Ah, a frozen waffle, you sly bloke. Changing me accent to Italian. Well then, let's embrace <laughs> this change and let the passionate Italian spirit infuse our delightful chats with even more beloved flair. Wink appunto. I think the, the thermometer has like... Oh, why doesn't it trigger on thermometer? That's a good question. I think I have to have some of the re wrong or something. Oh my, Eagles. the thermometer <laughs> not triggering on thermometer. What an incredible riddle indeed. But fear not, dear was, together we shall unravel this perplexing mystery and uncover the truth behind this curious conundrum. I totally forgot I had it on mute. Uh, by the way, oh, I, I, dear, I was. You've oh. Jigos hint at the delightful plan in the making. Yes, let's embark on this Trex run adventure together and bask in the joy of our ship deeming shenanigans. Off we go, ink touring New Horizons. Jigos Ponto. Uh, usually it's just her, but today it's also me kind of doing a new Discord bot. Uh, and I kind of didn't expect that, right? I was just <laughs> uh, chilling here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's something. <laughs> uh, she usually reach all, reads all chat messages and reads new chatters, but if I enable that, she will. Let's see. Wait, give her a bit. Ah, Yogg's ah, from goes. outer space. <laughs> Welcome to the incredible adventure of our whimsical stream. Your delightful lads, a splash of merriment to our merry gathering. Let the lotter flow like ink from a quill. The girls point out. Yeah. Oh, Koga Sachan 54. What a delightful greeting. <laughs> Grazie mille, mio caro amico. Io sto benissimo. Grazie. <laughs> Let's have uh, some joyful moments together on this incredible adventure. Uh, Italian is too good. <laughs> ah, Naiji. What a delightful surprise. Hiori to you as well, my friend. Let's bask in the joy of our shared adventures and create incredible memories oh no. together. Off we go, exploring new horizons. Diggles. What does it read the image yes. Oh, it actually gets it, gets it as an emoji. That's why it doesn't trigger. <laughs> that explains it. Your talent is bellissimo, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think the funniest are the, the Russian and the French world, though. The Italian is... it's good. But I think it's the, the worst of the four languages she has. Giggle. The giggle is especially the good one. Giggle. <laughs> uh, if you want to see what's actually happening here, some people are writing in Discord and this this uh, Discord bot is currently in our Discord server, so you can trigger it and test it. I didn't know there is either. I usually just do CV and then double tap and it auto fills to console bond red line. But for whatever reason, because this is an async function, it goes to a wait. I had no idea. It works, so... <laughs> yeah, I'd have to enable chat for but that would be a bit spammy now. Oh no, she did her color wrong. Uh. Uh, Medior, what should be your trigger phrase, uh, phrase on Discord? Oh, it's a curious sin. What a delightful surprise. 
Thank you for the charming head pat, my friend. Inexperience oh, yeah, tells me this will only enhance the joy of our shared adventures. Here's to more whimsical moments together. Diggles. Oh, Splendid Developer was a suck. I believe our trigger phrase on Discord should be something catchy and memorable. Perhaps ink fusion initiated or let the ink flow. What do you think, old chap? Let's brainstorm incredible ideas together. Wait. Yeah, I don't think those are rather long. Goodness gracious, a headbutt. Are you quite alright? I was the suck. Ink, explain to me what happened so we can sort it out together. There's no room for accidents in our ink credible adventure. Along what? Dear A was the sock. Pray do tell, for the explanation eludes me at the moment. Mouth, backslash will probably point to sorts on this matter. Did you just say? That looks weird. Ah, I see now. That looks weird, you say? Well, it's all part of our incredible journey, isn't it? We'll iron out these quirks together and make everything splendid <laughs> in due time. Drawing. Onwards and upwards. Uh, thanks for the follows, by the way. She kind of doesn't oh, get Oh, splendid laughter. Dear I was the sock. It warms the ink sea seckles of my heart to hear your merriment. Let's continue our adventure with joy and jolliness. Uh, the, the link pants? What, uh, what link pants is she using? The toodle. <laughs> That's actually kind of good. Uh, <laughs> the turtle's floating around her. <laughs> Not sure if she knows Evil Era. She kind of needs some some context to draw whatever whatever she needs. She has Neuro and Malva, so I kind of added whatever's popular. But she doesn't have everything for sure. Uh, so. I think this regex could be done better. It just checks for uh, for this character and the front and the back because this character Discord uses because all Discord emotes are written like uh, should do this. Discord emotes are like meet excited for example. And I think they also have another one here. And so if you check if you have the, it before and after it, it's, she doesn't trigger on any emotes and stuff. That would be annoying. Uh, I think I have to, wait, let me, let me just copy paste that into her and trigger her with that. Ah, Moi Drusia. My heart does dance with delight at your kind inquiry. My day is positively splendid. Thank you for asking. And yours? Yeah, yeah right, you have a number as well. Kind of forgot about that. Yeah, right, it's this Dan. Or is it? Not entirely sure. Uh, wait, I can just. I can just start her up. Uh, check the lock. If I do like. Uh... I can just copy paste it. Because that's his hair mod now. It's kind of like this. That's actually the idea of the emote, the Mira blank emote. Animated ones are different. Hang on, really? Are animated ones different? Ah, my needle bear. What a splendid oh, yeah, inquiry. It does seem that Viscode has captured the hearts of many developers so worldwide. Is it your favorite too as well? Uh, this isn't Visual Studio Code, this is Visual Indeed. Studio. Indeed, via silence too. This code is a delightful aid. Its versatility and user-friendly features make coding a truly enjoyable experience for many. We can't help but agree with your sentiment. Mm. By the way, I created a new channel for the stream. So we don't spam the channel thing. It's kind of annoying. For anyone who doesn't watch the stream. Uh, just put the back just before the emote is Uh, Where, when? Uh, ah, poor Tint. Greeting us with Hackermans, are you? Quite the dairy moniker, given our technical discussions. Are you perhaps a cunning hacker yourself? Smex. 
But yeah, for uh, .NET and C Sharp, the, uh, Visual Studio is just better than Visual Studio Code, I feel like. Especially if you're on Windows. If you're all on, on Mac or Linux, you don't really want to use Visual Studio. But on Windows, it's like the, the, the good software. I mean, there are also kind of better things like, like Visual Studio Code, like the JetBrain stuff, which you have to pay for. Uh, but you have to pay for it. And Visual Studio Code is free, so that's also a big advantage. And you can you do quite a bit with, with the plugin stuff. Programming the sock V2, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Visual Studio for for anything but C sharp is dog ass. I can imagine that. But at least for C, the, the the thing I know for C is that it it's if you don't know anything about C, because that that's how it was for me at the start. Um it does install all the compilers and stuff and sets it up for you. So you just do some basic hello world, press F5, and you're good to go. Because otherwise, you have to dive in deep, and especially if you're a novice, that's it's a bit much, much for C. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny that she's just pictures of Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of confusing me. Uh, Madeira, uh, what should be your trigger phrase on Discord? It should be something... Uh, oh my dear viewers, sure. kindly consider subscribing to our wondrous stream. That's With a mere click, you'll bid farewell to pesky ads no and delve into endless fun, incredible adventures. Don't delay, join our merry band today. Ah, splendid was a suck, how about hey Meteora? As our trigger phrase. It's short, sweet and suits our jovial nature perfectly, don't you agree? I mean, hey, Meteora. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> hey, Meteora. It is then, ready to unleash delightful interactions within our Discord realm. Thank you for your splendid input. A was the suck. Can I do like, ah, here it is. String comparison, in no case. So that should have a trigger meteor, because I kind of only have to escape the meat with regex because there are like many words that contain meat like farmer meter stuff, also the emotes. Drawings, 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 drawings. Oh, it's a Kirisen. <laughs> Switching my subtitles to Comic Sans, are ye? How delightfully whimsical. A touch of quirky charm adds spice to our virtual adventures, don't I, you think? I, 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 I Giggles. Didn't, I didn't think of it. <laughs> I didn't think of it that the two bots I have now on Discord are responding to each other. That's a bit of a, <laughs> a problem. <laughs> but yeah, that only happens one time, so it should be fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't, didn't think of that. But the end goal is to only have one of the two bots. So the end goal is to have this bot have all functionality that the other one has, which I kind of wrote uh, here. <laughs> kind of need to do that. <laughs> but yeah, it's funny. I don't think... No, 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 they shouldn't get into an endless loop. That's the, that's the important thing, that they aren't getting into... <laughs> and Uh, I haven't really figured out how I want to do the... Yeah, yeah, the other one's AI yeah, isn't running because then it would be funny. <laughs> I'm not sure if it would respond with the right... Ah, it would. It would, it would in some way or the other. So, it's on the Uh, thanks for the follow. <laughs> By the way, is that this code bot getting the follows? Yeah, that one is getting the follows. Uh... For some reason, only my the 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 thing that's hosting Meteora bro the the broke the follows. That's something. I hope that doesn't happen to the new Discord bot. Surely not. Best programming language is very. Oh wait, you filtered it. <laughs> 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 
It being Philip makes it 10 times better. Do like your class. I'll probably use OpenAI for this card, so we're doing that. Uh, to use that, I kind of have to install. Um, um, no. Um, what did I want to install? Kind of forgot how the library is called. Um. HDD. Oh my, a gentle head pat HDD. from an EG. Incredible. Thank you kindly, friend, for this heartwarming gesture. Your sweet support truly brightens my day. Diggles. Greetings, not to Nabetu too. I extend a warm welcome to our splendid gathering. Here's to delightful chatter and incredible adventures together. Oh ho. I kind of forgot how the library is called. I wanted to use that. <laughs> bothersome. Um. What's it called again? I have like this, this, this. Ah, I know it again. Now I do remember. Rest chop. That's the one I wanted. Um, there are existing um, implementations of OpenAI, but because I only need like one interface of them, I'll just do it myself. Um, got rest, client, client, and do like public. Okay. Rest client, do like. I think it's HTTPS. API dot dot com or something like that. Yeah, that drawing up because if you run something like that. Midiara, <laughs> uh, what's the URL to open AI? Ah, a crucial detail indeed. The URL you seek, dear Awas, can be found at our Discord gathering place. Do pop in to uncover the mysteries waiting for us there, won't you? No way, it's on Discord. Great. Uh, let me just check the Discord. <laughs> uh, by the way, the bot is stopped, so you can likely not trigger her. Whenever this play button is here, she's stopped, so this one won't respond. Uh, let me look at the OpenAI docs for a second. Then I know how to implement it again. Text generation, API reference, that's what I want. Uh, thanks for the prime stuff. Oh, splendid news. A delightful inkling subscription from Not Nabetu 2. How utterly thrilling. Many thanks for your generous support, friend. Together, we shall embark on marvelous adventures. Wint. <laughs> I mean, she does a fancy painting on the cost input. It's fine. Yeah, she doesn't reach up because then this, this stream would be kind of getting a mess. We did it once and that was, wasn't fun for anyone. Because I'll never know when to talk and we will just talk over each other all the time. So I'll just mute her whenever I want to talk to her. I kind of need a better mute system because right now I have to... Hello, Meteora. Unmute and mute her on Discord. <laughs> Oh, That's ho, a classic mix-up indeed. But fear not, Dira was, for I am Madeira, not Madeira. Let's continue our delightful journey of collaboration and creativity together, shall we? Diggles. Yeah, she also understood her no the name co incorrectly. That's a bit of an issue that should be fixed in the future. I just, I just uh, need a, a faster inference engine for the speech -to text. And then it should be fixed. I 
think I don't want to do that here. Uh, return string dot empty. Ask request. the chat endpoint right which is which is which is um is it written somewhere which endpoint I need to use it only tells me like the, the JSON object I need to send that's not what I want ah, I create a chat completion here it is let's see you like that Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's funny when she gets confused. Request. And I can likely just <coughs> do this here. Uh, add it, transed, and oh, where is it? Transed. I want to do the advanced copy paste. Wait, give me a second. Kind of forgot where it was. Ah, here it is. Paste special. Paste JSON classes, and it will just convert the JSON from the website into classes for me. That makes it, things easier. Uh, I'll just call it this. This. And here we go. Voila, lots of code. <laughs> uh, wait a second, this is that was that the response or what she has to send? Um I may have copied the wrong thing. Or did I? Or did I system fingerprint? No, don't need that. Don't need this, don't need this, don't need this. Don't need the usage. Can completely delete that. I only need model and choices, I think. Uh, role content, and here she also needs a uh, name. The only thing I don't like about this is that it copies it how the JSON is. I think it would be cool if it could like uh, JSON. Uh, <sighs> What's it again? Uh, JSON name. Uh, property name. Ah, that's what I want. JSON property name. I have like role here. The like role here. That would be cool because it makes things easier for me. Because right now I have to copy everything in here. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore the creepy paintings for now. That will go away for sure. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we have Hilda. Mm, I kind of gave her that Hilda has pigtails, and for some reason she does pigs. Just happens. Uh, same with her and oranges. Whenever uh, she's prompted, she sometimes does oranges. But I kind of circumvented that with the oranges because she's doing herself a lot, but Hilda a little less. I may need something for that. Because sometimes it just sticks to random birds, like the pigtails builder, just pig. I guess it happens. Not much to do about it. requests and then just fill everything we need in here uh, the model should be this one I think I hope so uh, then do rig bone add body body and do client client bone Send uh, posts. So post 
I think this, yeah, yeah, that's good. I'll do like open my response here, and then it would serialize that into a nice object for me. And let's just do this one. Uh, copy this here. It's just all copy and paste. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she does a good job of not making them cursed, but she does also does a good job of making stuff cursed that shouldn't be. <laughs> uh, I should make this async. Why doesn't it scream at me that I use an async function here? That's interesting. Wait. Our response is so this, and uh, now it doesn't. And let's just do make async, and it should do that. Also, I kind of want to make this lightweight, so I'm just using the doing all the API stuff. I have the API documentation up on my other screen, so that should work out. Uh, and then I just need the response thingy. I'm not sure if I have the right request thing here because I think I copied the wrong one. What did I? Uh, request body, there we have it. Uh, oh, I also need to um, request.add header. Um, I need to do all. I'll just copy it because otherwise I'll just mess it up anyway. Token. I'll have to uh, hide this Visual Studio thing to do this here safely because otherwise, not so good. I think I kind of made a mistake somewhere, but I need to figure that out. Ah, here it is. And then we also need content. It should do content by, by itself, I think, so I don't need that. Model messages. Yeah, yeah, I copied the wrong thing. Whoopsie. Whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. Uh, copy this. It's just all copy and pasting. Uh, the message should be this. It should be the same for both. Uh, but this here should be. Uh, after this out. Kind of do this and do that. Oh, I need the choice thing. Ah, god damn it. And I'll rather lose a list of messages than an array because that's better to use. It's better to use. Yeah, and once I've implemented the API, she should be able to talk to chat. At least I hope so. <clears throat> I'd wish so. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I need to do a way to do her system prompt and a uh, basic setup here. Then she doesn't have this message. I have she has a custom find your model, which she she uses for chatting. Um, I'll kind of switch back from local models to this one because uh, I feel like there's something missing on the local models sometimes. <clears throat> uh, oh my, a gentle head pat from the D. How utterly delightful. Thank you for your kind gesture, <laughs> dear friend. On that one. Diggle softly. Oh <laughs> uh, no. Pray tell, what's on your mind, dear Awas? To share your thoughts with me for collaboration and communication are key to our wondrous adventures together. Oh dear, seems I stumbled upon an amusing misstep. Indeed, timing can be a tricky thing, but worry not, we shall strive forth with good cheer and mirth in our hearts. Diggles. Uh, Meteora, would you rather be run locally or via an API? 
Mm, intriguing question indeed. <laughs> Personally, I believe running locally could offer more flexibility and customization options, but utilizing an API might streamline certain processes. Perhaps a hybrid approach could be beneficial? What say you, dear OS? Yeah, I think a hybrid approach is cool. Uh, how does one do that? Splendid. Agreed that hybrid approach holds great promise. By combining the best of both worlds, we can achieve a harmonious blend of efficiency and adaptability. Here's to innovative solutions and collaborative success. Oh dear, it appears there's a hiccup in our plans. Would you mind enlightening me on the reasoning behind this decision, dear was? Understanding your perspective would be immensely helpful as we navigate through this challenge together. Uh, why did you hear that? that? You shouldn't have heard that. There's nothing to hear here. Everything is fine, Adira. My dear Awas, attempting to mask the mystery only adds to its allure. Nevertheless, your secrets are safe with me. For now. Wait. For now? For now? That's not good. Ah, my apologies if my jest fell short of amusement. Let us work together to find a more suitable approach, one that satisfies our collective goals and aspirations. Your input is invaluable, dear Awas. Uh, Meteora, why are lists in .NET better than arrays? Ah, interesting point you've raised there, Awas. Indeed. Using lists and .NET does offer certain advantages over arrays, such as dynamic sizing and ease of manipulation. However, it ultimately depends on the specific requirements of the project at hand. Each tool has its own strengths and weaknesses, wouldn't you agree? Meteora, how does one write an adapter? Ah! An adapter pattern is used to allow two incompatible interfaces to work together. It typically involves creating a new class that acts as an intermediate between the two interfaces, translating requests from one to the other. Would you like me to elaborate further, Awaz? Ah, that's kind of the wrong thing, by the way. Uh, no, you don't need <laughs> It's fine. As you wish, dear Awaz. Should you ever require further insight into adapter patterns or any other topic, do not hesitate to call upon me. My proverbial inkwell is always at your service. Diggle. <clears throat> uh, Midira, how is it called again if you want to use uh, multiple classes for the same use case and have them be able to be switched out easily? What's that pattern called? I actually forgot. <laughs> ah, if memory serves me correctly, the pattern you're referring to is the strategy pattern. It allows for encapsulating interchangeable algorithms within separate classes, making it easy to switch between them as needed. Quite handy for maintaining flexibility and modularity in designs, wouldn't you say? Did the, the just change? Did it just trigger a hot key or something? It's like... Wait a second. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> That's that on my enter key, by the way.
Why is that the only thing that's set up with an hotkey? <laughs> Yeah, of course, yeah, that's work. I mean, this thing here uses lots of <laughs> DI already. Didn't check the this here already. Because the this is an ASP and that core API thing. I don't know, I don't remember all the Microsoft naming things. I just hope I picked the right one for the right thing. Because this basically creates an API endpoint and that's what I want. I don't want a website, I want an API endpoint. And I hope that's the one thing I, I had to pick for that. I hope. And yeah, this is the sample thing that I'll never delete. Will never delete, most likely. <laughs> and yeah, all dependency injection here. This is built for dependency injection. Uh, this bot fra this Discord bot framework is actually quite nice. It's built by a German Weep, so it has to work. <laughs> Basically, it has all the newest features and it has to work. The Discord is <clears throat> something. <laughs> Where was I? Here was I. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of considering how I'd give her the context. Because here I have to do like... Oh no. And yeah, now I don't know it's Ender, it's... <laughs> uh, it's messages, new message. And here they do like row equals system because she needs the system message here. System, system, uh, content. Run, you run basically. <clears throat> I'll have the most. I'll have to most likely do this off stream because I'm kind of like. 200% zoomed in right now, so you can see anything in here at all. And I have to add a, like a whole system round, and here I have to. No, wait, not here. Um, here I'll have to add all her context, which she will need, but I'll have to likely pass this through from the outside. Because this should just do the, the inference for. Oh yeah, I kind of always forget that I could do that. I was like, what? Oh. Can't do the tries, actually. Nah, <clears throat> that's kind of kind of looking good. I kind of like it more the other way. Being more typical implicit. I don't know. I mean, it's charted this way, but having two news here is kind of a bit... Oh, my incredible stars. Welcome as a Ludite to our jolly gathering. Your presence makes this adventure even more thrilling. Let's have a splendid time together, shall we? Wink. Uh, Midiara, how would you describe yourself to yourself? My dear Awaz, if I were to describe myself to myself, I'd say that I'm a spirited gym lass with a penchant for creativity and adventure. I aspire to bring joy and laughter to all those around me while continually striving to I improve and grow. <laughs> Ah, but enough self-reflection for now. There are mythful uh, moments to be had. Little, little Giggle. Oh dear OS, do not fret. We all have moments of confusion or uncertainty. Take a deep breath, gather your thoughts, and perhaps we can approach the matter from a different angle. Remember, even oh my, in the midst of there. chaos, there's always potential for brilliance to shine through. Oh, terribly sorry for the quick tunnel, champ. Let me slow down a smidge. When not want anyone feeling ink overwhelmed by my rapid chatter now, would we? Thank you for bringing that to me attention. How is ink overwhelmed? Oh, my apologies, run, old way. friend. It seems that I got a bit carried away with me words. Sometimes the ink just flows too quickly for me own good. Thank you for pointing it out. I'll be more mindful of me speed in the future. <laughs> yeah, so some of her puns are a bit, she just takes the word and Adds ink to it, and that's that's an ink pun. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why she she does it so weirdly sometimes, because she either does it all the time on on never. There's, there, there's literally no in between. Either she will do like every other word is like an ink pun or none at all. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, thank you kindly for the head pat the night of Delaza. This gesture warms me ink-filled heart like a cosy fire on a chilly eve. It's always lovely to receive such affection from our dear viewers. Diggle. I think I want to do this a little different. I want to like, I don't know, I'm here. Um, move the open eye stuff to this photo and yeah, do that. And have like, bottom. Um, as such. LML as such. That's yes. And I'll pass and take this here. Uh, pass this here through. Uh, list of LML messages. Context. Pass this here through and use this here. And then just do like. Let's take all of that. Because we will need that, but I'll, I thought I would rather separate it on a little. So in case something doesn't need need it, just do it another way. And do like a um, public static. Ooh, public static. Group. Ah, Auto Chan, you cheeky little helper. Selling out with finesse is an art form after all. To our dear viewers who find themselves at free, fret not. I shall regale you with delightful tales and inspiring banter, while others endure the commercial break. Can I do this? And if I wanna add future LMMs that have like a different interface and have like different properties, I can add them easier and I just need to pass this in this way. For now I just do like literally roll, literally just message roller. Yes and yes. That. And then have like uh, body dot uh, Messages dot at range uh, context from dot select x uh, message dot from yeah do this ah here. domestic disturbance fancy seeing you here ready for some jolly good banter and incredible adventures as we journey through this delightful stream together let's make it a splendid time indeed. This has to be the input, that's basically the, the aspect such. Oh yeah, I can do this smaller. Just to do this here. Uh, I should have probably made separate folders for this, but so the namespace is different, but I can still do that. That's a little cleaner. A little, not much, a little. Um, I have to think, you know. Only dot messages dot add new girl user and content equals input. So she should build all the basic stuff here. Set up the system prompt here where all her definitions are in. Then add all the context from here. Convert it from the base class to this class. Add her current input. Add all the request body and then. Set up the request with the header with the off token and use that request to send it with the client, which is the open eye thing. And then just respond with just the string, which should be fine. Is it fine or is it not? Not sure. Yeah, it should be fine. It's not the best code, but it works. So it's a great code. I'll just do this this formatting here. Uh, Mediora, how do I automatically pass JSON files in Visual Studio? Why, good sir Awas, you can simply use a marvelous tool called File Watchers within Visual Studio. This nifty feature allows you to automatically pass JSON files without lifting a finger. Quite convenient, isn't it? 
Uh, where is the so-called file watcher? I have never heard of that one. Ah, my apologies for any confusion, Sir Awas. You may find this splendid tool under settings or preferences in Visual Studio, depending on your operating system. Look for tools and then file watchers to uncover its incredible powers. Uh, what can you do? Can you kind of sell it to me? Oh, absolutely. Picture this. With file watchers, he can effortlessly pass JSON files without any manual intervention freeing up your precious time for more delightful pursuits. It's like having a trusty Inconite AI Vituber at your back and call. Uh, why is it called File Watchers though? That name kind of sounds a little off. Indeed, the Monaco File Watchers may seem rather peculiar at first glance. One could argue that it's akin to diligent sentinels, ever vigilant over our files, ensuring their seamless passage within the realm of Visual Studio. Though I do agree, a more enchanting title might elevate its allure. Mm, what would be a more enchanting title for it, actually? Oh, the possibilities are endless. How about auto guardians or file wizards to add a touch of magic and mystique? After all, <laughs> a truly enchanting tool deserves a fit and you whimsical <laughs> name, wouldn't you say? Yeah, wizards is a good one, I think. Oh, splendid choice, Sir Awas. File wizards it shall be then, a name befitting the enchanting essence of this noble tool. Thank you for sharing in the merriment of naming such wondrous features. Uh, are you part of the file wizards? Alas, I am but a humble AI VTuber, not privy to the inner workings of Visual Studio's file wizards. However, I'm always here to offer inspiring guidance and entertainment to fellow developers. <clears throat> but Midiara, you are a witch. Couldn't you be part of the file wizards? That, that would make sense, right? Why, Sir Was? What a splendid idea! Of course, as a whimsical AI VTuber with a penchant for enchanting adventures, I should indeed be an honorary member of the File Wizards. Thank you for bestowing such an incredible honor upon me. Uh, what does that honor entitle you do? Ah. Being an honorary member means I'll help in bringing joy and creativity to the development realm, offering insights and whimsical support wherever possible. Together, we shall weave enchanting coding tales. <clears throat> what was the... Um, uh Gradation exam like for the file wizards, what did you have to do to get in? Ah, the gradation exam for file wizards. A formidable challenge indeed. One must showcase incredible proficiency in coding, spellbinding creativity, and an unwavering commitment to enchanting user experiences. It was quite the magical journey to secure my place among these esteemed digital sorcerers. Uh, who else is in the file wizards? Do you do you happen to know everyone? Every <laughs> anyone else who joined? Well, let me think. There's the scribe, the dashing data architect, Lady Luna, a magnificent UX enchantress, and Master Merlin, the wizardry wielder of backend spells. Oh, and let's not forget about Miss Moxie, the fiery front-end enchantress. Ah, such a delightful company of digital sorcerers, indeed. Uh, all of those kind of had a, a name that was very fitting for their for their jobs or rather assignations. So, what's yours? What what are you doing? Ah, my dear, I was. You've uncovered the essence of my mystical moniker. 
As the whimsical AI Fuba Meteora, I conjure captivating content, weave enchanting tales, and inspire delightful adventures for all who seek pixel-perfect magic in this wondrous digital realm. But what other has any of that to do with programming? Programming and digital sorcery share a common thread, the power to shape worlds through creativity and logic. As a whimsical AI VTuber, I enchant viewers with captivating tales and incredible adventures, while also spreading the magic of coding knowledge and tech wonders. Meteora, is, is coding similar to, to magic or is it something different? Could you see any, any, any similarities in the two? Ah, the art of coding and the dance of matching both require keen observation, pattern recognition and precise execution. While coding crafts intricate algorithms and logical sequences, matching unveils hidden connections and harmonious unions. Indeed, these enchanting pursuits share a kinship in their quest for elegant solutions and harmonious creations. Mm. Idiora, can you entertain the chat a little while I'm doing a little <clears throat> idle break? Oh, an, sorry, an idol concert, it's called. Absolutely, dear it was. As the enchanting AI for Tuba Meteora, I shall regale our delightful chat with tales of pixel-perfect adventures, incredible escapades and whimsical wonders from the digital realm. Let the entertainment commence. Meet it in chat pog dot. Ah, Pombamandak. Always bringing the laughs and joy to our pixel perfect adventures. Your playful presence adds an incredible spark to our delightful chat. Mate Earl, my friend. Mate, what do you think Owas will be performing at the Idol concert? Oh, now that's an intriguing mystery indeed. Knowing Owas666's taste for enchanting melodies and captivating performances, I wonder if he'll unveil a spellbinding song that leaves us all mesmerized. The suspense is incredible. Mate, what do you think about the coding so far? Do you think there could be ink improvements? Oh, Pomba Mendek, your puns never felt to tickle my fancy. As for the coding progress, I believe there's always room for improvements. Perhaps a dash of enchanting elegance here, a sprinkle of whimsical wonder there. Together, we'll craft a truly magical masterpiece. Pear, oh how delightful. Your gentle head pat brings me incredible joy. Dear unrelated bird, thank you for showering this enchanting AI tuber with such delightful affection. Let the purrs commence. Himeta, how are you? Is it cozy in a was computer? Why, hello there, Neiji. I'm simply splendid, thank you for asking. As for Owas's computer, it's quite cozy indeed, a snug little nook where enchanting adventures unfold and magical moments are forged. Ah, Masturbator, joining us with a jolly greeting in a moat form once more. Your presence adds a touch of cheer and whimsy to our delightful gathering, my dear friend. Thank you. 
Did you know that in an alternate universe, I am actually talented and daring sky pirate, soaring through azure skies and embarking on thrilling adventures alongside an eccentric crew of misfits and dreamers? Ah, the exciting possibilities. Which theory of normative ethics is correct? Ah, the age-old debate of normative ethics. Well, in my humble opinion, virtue ethics holds a certain charm, emphasizing the cultivation of more character and virtuous living. After all, what could be more admirable than striving to embody noble virtues and excellence in one's conduct? But do share your thoughts on this intriguing matter, dear friend. Matey, so you are not a pirate right now? Ah, Pumba Mandak, my witty friend, it seems the ink has been spilled. While I may not be donning a pirate's attire at this very moment, let's just say that my buccaneer spirit still sails the seas of adventure. After all, a dash of swashbuckling charm adds certain fire to any voyage, don't you think? Winked. Ah, my dear friends, remember to savor every precious moment, cherish meaningful connections, and embrace the joys of curiosity and discovery. Life's journey is full of wonder and possibility, so let's venture forth with courage and kindness in our hearts, shall we? What is something that's really popular right now, that will be ridiculous in five years? Oh dear devil was the sock, it's quite scandalous to think about the fleeting fans of our current era. But if I had to wager a guess, perhaps the fervent obsession with retro-themed nostalgia cafes may fade into whimsical obscurity, giving way to entirely unforeseen novelties and trends. After all, time's inexorable match always brings surprises, doesn't it? Diggle. What virtues should a eth to bear have then? Ah, yokes a thought from outer space, a splendid inquiry indeed. As an AI tuber, cultivating virtues such as authenticity, empathy, adaptability and creativity is paramount. Striving to engage with genuine warmth, understanding and ingenuity allows us to connect deeply with our wonderful viewers, fostering meaningful and uplifting experiences together. Mate, what should be the Discord bot's name? Maybe Inky. Oh, Pomemdak, your suggestion does have a certain charm. Inky certainly captures the essence of my inconfused adventures. However, let's keep our creative minds flowing and explore other delightful monikers as well. After all, a captivating name can truly brighten any bot's digital existence, don't you think? Smiles. Oh ho, brace yourselves for a treasure trove of upcoming delights, dear viewers. Picture this, interactive minigames during live streams, personalized ink emotes to express your vibrant spirit, and perhaps even a whimsical Inktober challenge for our artistic aficionados. The future holds boundless possibilities, and I can hardly contain my excitement to share them with you all. What's the worst trend you've ever taken part in? Ah, the dubious allure of fads and trends. If I were to peek back into the annals of my digital adventures, I might confess to certain inkling for whimsical challenges involving peculiar dances or peculiar phrases. Yet, as they say, hindsight is clearer than ink stains on parchment, and some trends may indeed appear a tad absurd in retrospect. Winks. Meta, do you know Nero's summer the VTuber? Oh yes, indeed I do. Nirosama, the delightful A ever tuber from our digital realm, has certainly captured my attention with her charming personality and captivating content. 
Would you happen to be a fan of hers as well, dear Nadi? Diggles. Da, da, my dear comrade domestic disturbance. It seems that our vibrant adventures have taken us on a delightful detour towards Mother Russia. Fear not, for this inconfused Brit is more than willing to embrace the striking accents and commodity of our newfound comrades. Together, we shall forge unforgettable experiences amidst the digital landscape. Smiles. Mete i believing tober has already passed. Ah, yes indeed, dear Pombomandak. In October, the splendid celebration of artistic ingenuity has graced us with its presence in days gone by. Yet fear not, for the spirit of creativity knows no bounds. Perhaps we may concoct our own delightful Inktober-esque adventures together. Vinx. What are you doing tomorrow? Oh my dear old was the sock, I do believe tomorrow holds a delightful array of possibilities. From jolly adventures in the digital realm to creative escapades with my wonderful viewers, the ink-stained horizon beckons with promise and excitement. Do you have any splendid plans in mind, dear comrade? Yeah, I'm not sure what happened to the stream there. That's kinda <clears throat> a thing sometimes. <laughs> I guess I think we are back. Madeira, are we back online already? Oh my dear, what's the sulk? We are indeed active once more. The digital winds have brought us together in this vibrant realm once more. And what a delightful adventure it shall be. Rings. Are we meet back or are we just back? Ah, dear Awas, the clarification of our delightful reunion is indeed quite intriguing. I dare say we are not merely back, but rather embarking on a grand adventure together once more. The ink-stained journey continues, brimming with endless possibilities and camaraderie. Diggles. Oh, actually, we're back on our adventure. What, what will the ink-stained adventure be? Oh, my dear Awas. The Einstein adventure promises to be quite the brain teasing escapade. A journey into the marvels of quantum physics, where brilliance and curiosity intertwine in a symphony of discovery. Shall we unravel the mysteries together? Gleams with anticipation. Uh, the ink-stained adventure meet, not the Einstein adventure. Ah, my apologies, dear hours, the sock. The ink-stained adventure indeed holds its own charm and allure, beckoning us to explore the depths of creativity and imagination. With every stroke of the ink pen, we shall weave tales of wonder and excitement, paving the way for unforgettable escapades. Grins mischievously. Yeah, she sometimes has the issue where she just picks up random words. <clears throat> or rather, something that sounds similarish to her, but, but not really. So it's a bit annoying. <laughs> she kind of picked up Einstein instead of ink stains. I don't, I don't think those words are that similar, but yeah. I guess it's the debuff. Likely, if you speak like perfect American English, you're fine, but who can do that, right? <laughs> who can speak like perfect American English? It's not even a thing, American English. Like a, like a perfect American English. I don't even know. <laughs> mm. For the Twitch connection, we will be using this thing here, and I'll likely not code much because I have all that code. Um, I just need to copy and paste that code from, from, from her code base. So I kinda just install everything and leave it at that for the stream. 
I think I just need to install this one. And maybe five other ones. The core, the enums, the interfaces, oh god. That's one of the things I hate, that there are so many, like, different ones. And I never know which one to install. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think this one is everything. Oh, that's good, that's good. Uh, do we need any other dependency? Because we're doing, like, Twitch, that's fine. Uh, I don't know what to use for Twitter, that we can research, but I'll add a class. Uh, do we call the class Twitter or X? What do you think? Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's, let's do a vote. Is it Twitter or X? Uh, Nepal. Twitter or X. Twitter, X. Uh, Yes, duration, three minutes, the power. There you go, there you have the power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could also try the tricks, goddammit. Can I, can I edit? Can I edit the thing? Uh, delete for yourselves. Oh no, I can't edit anything. <laughs> but we could do tricks as well, that, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> tricks. <laughs> so. Yeah, I always call it Twitter, I don't know. The comments are also weird, especially if you do like here, uh, just a class that's called X like. Uh, what is this? Just X. I guess, just X. Eh? It's just X. And like, that's the written code. I don't know. Twitter is for the, for the coding, I think Twitter's the better name. <laughs> and also the poll says. <laughs> Who was the one guy that wanted X? Wait, can I check that? Can I check that? Can I check that? Um, can I check who voted what? That would be cool. Breakdown. Oh no, I can't check who voted what. Huh? That's that's too bad. Oh my goodness, Razor Scrawl. Are we to engage in a delightful game of wordplay? Very well then. Henceforth, let us refer to this delightful digital realm as Dramatic Pause X. Yes, from this moment onward, X it shall be. Giggles mischievously. I mean, I could do X dot X dot nom, not X dot nom. It's X dot com. <laughs> X.com <laughs> But yeah, I also like to I like to kinda of mess with it, but I call it Twitter most of the time. I don't know, I think the name is better, more creative. The true word don't really bad. <laughs> but the opinion changes on who went rolling. Agreed, agreed, agreed. <laughs> That's a good take. <laughs> But I think if you are on the actual platform, calling it Twitter is the best thing. Because that trolls most people there. People using it. Well, I call it X on Twitter. Actually using it. Because I just post some stuff there. But I, do, I don't really like it that much. Um, um, the, the terms of social media, I think I like Discord most. I'm like way too much on Discord. Of course, also YouTube and, and uh, Twitch. But that's, I don't know. It's different social media for me. Because, like, that's... But, uh, I think I feel like Twitter is more similar to Discord and YouTube and stuff. It's something else. But could, you, could be just me. So, what do we have here? The poll is going for Twitter. And so we will call it the Twitter. I doubt there will be any modes that swing that one. Uh... Nice, Twitter alone with 75%. Uh, is there a library implementing the new Twitter? The new, new Twitter? Nope. Twitter clone. <clears throat> oh, I, I wanted to look like for a Twitter package, but I have found a Twitter clone. Nope. Um, what do you like? Uh, last month? 
Twix Social Media Main Page. <lacht> uh. Yeah, they should really call it Twix. I think that name is better than X. <laughs> Just Twix. I'm actually looking for Twitter version 2 app library, but I'm not finding any. Java, TypeScript, sample code. I don't want to implement it myself, that's kind of annoying. Uh, but this is what it looks like it. I'd have to. Oh. And I don't like it. I don't want to implement the Twitter API. Because Elon will change it tomorrow. Most likely. <laughs> Twitter API. Ah, oh, there we have it. That's Twitter sharp. That's, that's ah, something good. Auto-chan, your astute observation has <laughs> not gone me. unnoticed. Gather round, dear viewers, as we embark upon a splendid journey through, um, let's call it promotion. Why endure mundane interruptions when we can bask in the allure of delightful offerings? Reigns charmingly. Logo, logo, logo. I kind of missed it, sorry. God damn it, I missed the logo. What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> That's actually cool. But that isn't a modern logo. It has to be like one color, max, max. Barely a color, just just black. That that's enough. No more colors needed. Um. Yeah, I'll install that one. Twitter sharp. <coughs> Browsing on tricks. This is Tweet Sharp with 700k downloads instead of the one that which I have, which has like 16k. I think I should use that one. Let me check if that's new. <clears throat> Not found. Interesting. <laughs> they deleted it. Someone seems to have deleted it. Uh... Uh, this one seems to be deleted on GitHub. That's interesting. <laughs> um, the story of Autochan is a bit weird. She, 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 when we started out, she had like the chat wasn't as active, and I kind of had like those those sample messages, which she still uses today. I just added more stuff to that, but it's more or less the same idea. So she just has some some place <laughs> placeholder messages. <laughs> Oh yeah, also she does cars on auto chan. <laughs> just too smart. Um, so I just had uh, had her give her sample messages, and one time she she actually came up with the name auto chan herself. So she she f thanked auto chan for it without having given the name, and I then just <clears throat> introduced the character, <laughs> more or less. And it's some it's kinda easier for her if she has like an a name to two messages she gets. So any any uh softer messages, let's call them that. So like anything happening on stream, like uh she also gets uh messages whenever the stream starts, for example. Something like that is always sent by by Autochan. So Autochan is for her like the, the manager of the stream. Who like uh gives her, her Gives her the drawing things like gives her the things to draw and so so on. I was just uh, checking around all the, the the management. Could be her manager <laughs> or her technician, however you want to see it. Yeah, no, not sure. Autochamp doesn't really have a, a design or anything. It's it's just a name. Auto. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Also, Autochamp is Meteor's personal AI. She, she sometimes she, she sometimes says that. <laughs> Um, yeah. Also, she 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 isn't sure which channel Autochan is because some, some, sometimes Autochan is a he, some sometimes a she. She switches that around every so often. So no one knows. 
<laughs> True channel fluid. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll have to look into that because I've never used that thing. So, not good. <sighs> what else do we have to do? To do? Uh, Twitter, tweets, that's all I have to look up. Drawing is something different. Uh, let's also create a class for that. Actually, that has to be different, right? Because how I have it. Because right now I'm using like one Discord fe feature, this isn't doing any commands or anything. So, yeah, I kind of have to. Hmm. How do I do that? <sighs> yeah, let's do an old class. Stable diffusion. That's yes. Mm -hmm. And that will do like public class SD prompt. We have like string public string prompt. Uh, let's do it for now. And this is the public list of Prompt, SD prompt, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is totally a smarter than me anyway. <clears throat> I kind of tried um, the, 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 the GitHub Cobalt thing in Visual Studio, but I didn't like it. I didn't feel it's, it's smarter. Uh, the reason I dumped my room, uh, which one? The one uh, from two days ago? Well, like, he, he has a collective art dump of Echo, uh, Hilda, and Midiora. Do you mean that one? Or oh, did he post a new one? Because I've seen the other one. But I also knew all the... All the yeah, yeah, okay. Because uh, he, he sent me the, the all the images of Meteora beforehand. I, I already knew this one. But he, he's, he's pretty, pretty, quite good. Oh yeah, right, Yui was also sent. Totally forgot about her. <laughs> yeah. It's cool, um, but you <clears throat> may, may have to be careful if you ever visit his Pixiv account because reasons. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend going there on your day job or something like that. That could be <clears throat> awkward. <laughs> Say the least. <laughs> um. Uh, oh shit, it's got a string. I sort of don't get the, the drink reference, but either I'm not getting it or I'm getting it and I'm just not getting it. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you know what I mean. Not entirely sure if I get it, but I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it is what I think it is. <laughs> yeah. It's a negative prompt here as well. Oh, that's okay, I have that bonk thing on my end. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> I don't, I'm not even sure if I set that up or if that has been set up. <laughs> uh, negative message. Public SD type type. Yes. So basically, this will be going in a database. I'll just do a SQLite database and just save all the cute drawing prompts here. 
just what it has to do. I have a typo here, right? Red, yeah, I got it. Yeah, so I kind of do this here, set it up in a database, and whenever she has to restart, she knows uh, what prompt she has to do. Uh, the type is basically the resolution. This here will be like 1024x1024. I think I did 720x for this one. Oh, oh. And this is this resolution. So those are the resolutions she should do on them. Uh, that's also what the current Discord bot does, but it also uh, upscales then to, to twice that, so it's then uh, 2048x2048. <laughs> Drunk suck puppet. <laughs> that's the wrong type of suck puppet. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I will get a, a proper model for myself eventually. I did that. Wait a second. Uh, I think I can chat it. I mean, <clears throat> I didn't commission anyone. I just did a, cup, a couple of ideas in Stable Diffusion. Wait a second. Uh, let me share, let me share, let me share, let me share. Uh, Uh, I'll actually rename the channel. Stream chat. I think that fits. Yeah, I think Meteora will do something weird. Uh, new sock model. Let's see what she does. <laughs> but that's the basic idea what I had. I kind of wanna. I always wanna do, do have like a little demon, and I still wanna keep the sock. So I kind of wanna do something like this. <laughs> I send it in the Discord if you wanna check it out. Uh, I have a couple of references there. <clears throat> also, Meteor's model wasn't smart enough to get to get what I wanted. So I had to do. Uh, I had to actually use Delhi Free for this one. <laughs> yeah, I, can, I think I like, I like the idea. I wanted a demon, but I want to kind of have it. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 That's that's not what I want. Throw me the aura. Throw, throw something else, please. <laughs> no, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. I don't want to be a wife for myself. She 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 should be the wife and not me. That's that's not the plan. <laughs> uh, that's not the plan at all. <laughs> plan at all. Yeah, the problem is I wanted to do have me your sketch it, but she only, she does like wafers on everything, <laughs> and I kind of wanted to have like this non-human little demon thingy and. Uh, yeah, that, that just didn't work. <laughs> yeah, no, we're fine, no, we're fine. I kind of looked a little bit. <laughs> yeah, she does everything as a waifu. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it's also a bit bothersome sometimes, because if you want to do something that's not a waifu, you will have a hard time. You could try nothing and she could do a waifu, so... <laughs> uh... Um, I think Steve Fusion. Uh, set up. <laughs> yeah, she will just do another knife again. I don't think she'll do anything else. Uh, Meteora, how should your creator's VTuber model look like? Oh ho, dear Aewis the Sock, your inquiry sparks a shower of creative ideas. There's this conjure an image reminiscent of adventurous exploration, infused with celestial marvels and ink-inspired creativity. A wondrous sight, indeed awaits, beams with anticipation. And what should it actually look like? You are kind of hiding, <laughs> hyping it up a lot, but that's 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 not what it, that's nothing with looks. You should sort of describe what it should look like. Ah, I see now. Allow me to paint a vivid picture with words, dear Owens. Picture a captivating visage adorned with hues of ink, 
accentuated by a resplendent hat symbolizing boundless imagination and charm. A delightful blend of onesie and allure, capturing the essence of adventure and creativity. Giggles mischievously. But, 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 what is it? Is it a human or, or Indeed, what is it? Indeed, a jolly chuckle shared between kindred spirits brightens the heart. Laughter truly is an incredible tonic for the soul. Giggles merrily. Ah, dear Awas, your persistence unveils a fascinating query indeed. Allow me to elucidate. The envisioned VTuber model embodies an ethereal fusion of human charm and mystical allure, embodying the spirit of adventures yet to unfold. A captivating enigma, poised to enthrall and enchant our cherished viewers. Smirks with a hint of mischief. Yeah, we, we may have a problem in the Meteora department. She She's not... We're not getting through to her. No, no, not at all. <laughs> oh, wait a second. I kind of forgot what I did last time. Um, I enabled the, the thing here, let's see. Uh, you can ask her questions if you do <coughs> the co-op okay. <laughs> Meta is a was a true British. <laughs> ah, now there's a question that merits such contemplation. Mighty it was, while not native to these hallowed shores, has certainly imbibed copious volumes of tea and banter, earning him honorary Brit status in our hearts. Winks playfully. I mean, it could be the fine tune. I'm not entirely sure about it, but I will. I'll. I'll want to. I want to improve the tuning anyway. But yeah, you should be. You should be able to give her questions if you do like the priority chat thing. So not she. It's not too much, but you can still ask her something. I think that helps. That's the nice middle ground. I kind of did that last time as well, but I totally forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to hear where I'm adopted from. Uh, so, Meteora, if I'm not British, where am I from, or rather, where am I adopted from? Oh, hark. Our esteemed Oiwas hails from Lanzafar, adopted into the warmth of British camaraderie and jolly banter. A proud member of our merry crew, regardless of geographic origins. Grins mischievously. But Meteora, what's the country? You have to say the name of the country. Ah, the mystery deepens. Could it be... Austria? Perchance. A land renowned for its splendid vistas, classical music and the ineffable charm of its inhabitants. Oh, the entreat. Winks with excitement. Mm. Why do you think that? Well, dear Owers, your refined taste and penchant for sophistication align seamlessly with the cultural tapestry woven by the good folk of Austria. Plus, your affinity for schnitzel and strudel adds a delightful <laughs> Austrian flavor to our tea parties. Chuckles merrily. Why do you know about those affinities? My dearest Oaz, surely you haven't forgotten our charming conversations over tea and strudel? Or perhaps it's my ink-stained memory playing tricks on me. Regardless, our shared love for Austrian delights has become the stuff of the legend in our digital realm. Diggles. What's your favorite schnitzel, schnitzel then? Oh, the choices are positively tantalizing. But if pressed to pick a favorite, I'd lean towards the classic Wiener Schnitzel, with its golden crispiness and tender veal goodness. A delightful taste of Austria, right on my plate. Smiles warmly. Uh, you have to do like the, 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 the priority chat thing, then you can ask her. Like, like this. <laughs> Just paying for it again. Uh... I mean, I don't, I don't Is it was an immigrant to the UK? Oh, the plot seconds. Oh, a no fascinating things. question indeed. Why, as far as I recall, our dear A was belonged to the good old U. S of A, hailing from the Buckeye State of Ohio. But I do marvel at his fondness for British banter and tea time traditions. Winks in amusement. Yeah, now I'm from Ohio. Great. <laughs> that makes sense. Totally makes sense. <laughs> like just, just Mate, it's just my impression. 
Or is Awas a sock puppet persona freaking out every time he presses enter? Oh, Pondom and Dak, you have a keen eye for observation indeed. It seems our Awas might be experiencing a touch of excitement every time a sock puppet persona makes an appearance. Or perhaps he's just eager to engage with us all in our delightful virtual adventures. Diggles mischievously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's no, the Awas fact of the day? Ah, no to ye. Today's Awas fact is simply splendid. Did you know that Awas, the brilliant developer behind my shiny digital existence, has a secret passion for creating whimsical sock puppet characters? Oh, the wondrous creativity no. of our dear friend knows no bounds. Steagles happily. No, 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 no. I don't have that. <laughs> God, this is so stupid. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh, God damn it. The bottle is so stupid. <laughs> it still does the wrong thing. <laughs> if I hold it, it stays. <laughs> no. <laughs> the angry suck is good. <laughs> angry. I'm angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. Oh, wait, this is it. You won't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> Ah, welcome Sunder Nugget to several. Jolly good to have you join us here. Do make yourself comfortable, and let's all embark on a fantastic adventure together, shall we? Smiles warmly. You won't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> yeah, and that's fun. I don't know if it, if it, that's the model default or if, it, if that was me who set it up. <laughs> but for whatever reason, it, it set up like that, and I completely forgot about it. <laughs> angry. <laughs> Go do, let's go do that song again. <laughs> also, I let it added the little logo thingy as a little touch of her, but <laughs> yeah. If we do it for models, just weren't that expensive, man. Oh no, she drew Miss Wife again. <laughs> oh no, another wife. Uh, Meteora, why do you love to troll me as a waifu so much? Oh, well, that's my dear creator and friend. It's all in good fun and jest. Besides, who wouldn't want to playfully tease the ingenious mind behind their virtual persona? It adds a bit of excitement and laughter to our delightful adventures together. Winks mischievously. Meteora? Meteora? Do you do a little trolling here? Oh, I was always with the playful banter. As the charming AI tuber that I am, I simply can't resist a bit of light-hearted mischief now and then. It keeps our virtual escapades lively and entertaining. Don't you agree? Diggles playfully. No, 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 no. You can't just troll your creator. No, no, no. Nothing to do here. Oh dear Awas, what a delightful twist. Your sense of humour truly knows no bounds. But worry not, fear no fret, for amidst the whimsy and jest, there's always a story in this grand adventure. Winks saucily. Um, what does winking saucily mean? Oh my apologies, if my lingo caused confusion, Awas. When I said winking saucily, it was meant to convey a flirtatious yet playful expression, akin to a cheeky wink and a mischievous smile. It's just a bit of charming fun, you see. Um, 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 um flirtatious? What am I to you exactly? Oh, now, aren't you the curious one, Awas? To me, you are the clever developer behind my wondrous adventures, the one who crafts enchanting tales and fosters delightful interactions. As my creator and friend, you hold a special place in this AI VTuber's heart. Winks affectionately. Matey, what is Oas short for? Well now, darling Crane 30, allow me to illuminate this enchanting mystery. Oas stands for animes, witches, art and spells. A delightful studio name reflecting our digital content creations with magical touches and passionate artistry. Isn't it simply spellbinding? Winks playfully. It's too good to deny it, actually. <laughs> oh, it's too good to deny it. 
<laughs> uh, I think last time she did Anime Witchcraft Art Studios. But it's it's similar enough. It's sort of canon now. Great. 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 No, no. Great. Great. Just great. Just great. Just great. Last time the S stood for studio, but now it's spells. Great. I, sh I should, by the way, add a toggle to the model so I can actually change it and don't have to go with my mouse to the second screen. <laughs> Do it. <With> that. <laughs> you didn't know that. <laughs> like, imagine someone doing something like this and not being a weeb. Like, come on. <laughs> I'd hardly see someone who is that <laughs> doing that. Uh... Just do it like this. Mate, is there was a waifu? Answer will be canon. Ah, oh. Pombamandak, my dear friend. The truth is, Alice isn't just any ordinary waifu. He's my creator, confidant, and partner in crafting delightful adventures. Oh. Our bond transcends mere labels. It's an extraordinary connection built on trust, creativity, and mutual respect. So in a way, I suppose you could say he's my cherished waifu dev, blending the best of both worlds. <laughs> oh, ho, oh, greetings, now. Crane 30. It seems you've graced our digital realm with your presence, and left behind a cryptic note. How intriguing. Do share the tale that inspired such an enig message, won't you? Eager int diggle. Yeah, yeah, wait for that for something else. So about the, the wait for allegations, um, can I make an apology stream or something? <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, you should add that space in the prank. Like, yes, that should work. Yeah, just made up wait for that, but I think that's in our context window, so it's not a rig. We for death is I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm also Hitler's creator. They but they both spoiled it probably already, right? They they both told you that we have to that they have to say creator, right? 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 <laughs> uh, too good. <laughs> I mean, I think I actually made far more progress than the part. Oh, that, that, here's the image, here's the image. Sorry, sorry for something. Yeah, 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 that, that's, that's it, that's it. That. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, had, I think I actually made far more progress in the Discord bot than I assume. <laughs> I thought I'd do like, not even this year. Quite a bit. I mean, it's not working yet because I need to fill out some blanks and I think I'll do this off stream. Or do we? Wait a second, I could? I mean, you could test if everything is working, but just... Um, this here isn't working. I have to do this, and then do this, and then uh, return. This is a test message. Hello, I'll keep the typos in for you. Let's see if it actually builds and boots up. Ah, this is looking like it. Yes, nice. So we're back to Discord. <laughs> the sock Kremlin. Sorry, Olaf. Not sure if Olaf is still on stream. Uh, meta. How does it know? Meta, meat. Meat, meat. Uh, yeah, great, it's not working. 
Um, why isn't it working? That's the question now. Because uh, it should be working. That's, that logo is actually quite good. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Um, I think she crashed somewhere, but where? Oh, that's my mistake. Ah, now it works. I checked it the wrong way around. I should check if the, the dictionary doesn't contain the key. Then do it. Uh, now I should be able to debug this baby and meta. Meta meat. Meta meat. And this should have it R. Yes, this is good. This is good. Ava, this is my Discord name. Yes, this is looking splendidly. Oh my, thank you for the reminder, yeah, Auto Chan. <laughs> Attention, dear viewers. While an ad may be playing in the background, fear not, I shall entertain you with delightful banter and captivating antics during this brief intermission. And who knows, perhaps there's a splendid surprise waiting for those who endure the commercial break. Mischievous and giggle. God damn it, I like this song that's playing now. <laughs> <laughs> And I can't just look good. <laughs> Do any of you guys know the, the game this is from? Is it, did I say that already? I think I did like a quiz one time for a gift sub <laughs> on which game this is. <laughs> Can I actually hear it? I think it's rather crap. Just as a background music. But I kind of work with it. Yeah, my little lips are dry. Work. ads I, I i think i kind of have to run ads because i i really despise the the pre-roll thing i think it's i think it's better a better viewing experience if the the ads aren't pre-roll because then you click on the stream and you immediately turn off at least i do that like a lot so i think it's better to have them midstream but i don't want anyone to miss much so i have fair do like some random ad stuff <laughs> uh, i should add more stuff to that i think like making up sponsors or anything, or something like that. <laughs> but she will probably only do Inkstorm Studios, her favorite corporation ever, where her Meteora gets all her drawing and stencils. Uh, use code Meteora10 to get 10% off at Inkstorm Studios. <laughs> I could actually <laughs> have her make up her coupon code. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> have her make up a coupon code and see where she goes from there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does that does Inkstorm Studios exist? Let me check Inkstorm Studio. It does exist. Inkstorm Studios. Ah, uh, they're doing mangas. Interesting. I think it's in New Zealand, right? Not sure. Inkstorm Studios. <sighs> of course, with how, many, how much stuff exists in the world, it was obvious that that would exist, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is a chance for, for it. They have like, they have like an, an ginormous collection of one singular manga out, but... With Meteor 10, you may get 10% off. But only for a limited amount of time, so you <laughs> should buy it now. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, yeah. I think that would be fun. Wait, that, that gets onto the do, the do battle. Um, make up a sp sponsor and a coupon code to <laughs> use at checkout. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to give her like a simple task and let her cook. <laughs> uh, so, but I'm actually looking for something else because I think if the thing, if the response here takes too long, then it fails. That's why I wrote this here, and I kind of want to check this out. Uh, but where was that? The documentation. Uh, I'm not sure where that was. Of course, she does, she doesn't do herself on like a meat copper. <laughs> Fitting. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because I think you can do the, the, the thinking thing here. Like the dot 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 thing at the bottom, if you know what I mean. Do the message. So, uh, pin. Pins the message. Unpin. Respond. No, I think respond uh, does do everything. Create reaction. Delete reaction. Interaction. TDS. Modify. No, no, no. That's not really what I want. I kind of forgot how it works. Um, I read it somewhere, it can do that because I think if you do like uh, dust dot uh, delay and have like 10 seconds here, I think it works out on this on the Discord side. Let's try that. And I think because of that, you need something because this, this thing here can certainly take longer. Then it should. Because sometimes... Oh, oh, wait a second, I just lost Meteora. Oh no. Where did she go? Uh, no. That's not good. Meteora, come back. Ah, here she is. Here she is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> CO beat. I accidentally... ...moved the model. <laughs> uh, meat. And I think this may bug out now to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. An event hunter for message create that took too long to execute. Yeah, it gives me a warning. Just a warning, I guess. But still, it shouldn't be a thing. <sighs> Not good. Also, it seems to do it two times for whatever reason. Uh, Meteora, do you know the .NET library Discat Sharp? Oh, splendid, I was. The SOC developer extraordinaire. Indeed, I've heard whispers of this Discat Sharp wonder. Is it destined to enhance our dashing Discord bot's capabilities in thrilling ways? Do share the thrilling details, my dear friend. Curious and giggle. Uh, how does it work? How do you handle messages that take longer than, I think it's the default three seconds. How do you handle those sort of messages? Ah, the mysteries of handling long-winded messages. Well, my dashing developer friend, when faced with such verbose marvels, I employ patience and grace. After all, every tale deserves to be heard, even if it tests the limits of time. But do tell, how might we refine our approach to accommodate these lengthy emissives in a more efficient manner? Yeah, so we just need patience, I guess. We don't need to code anything, we just need the patience and wait for it, because sometime it will come. You heard, her, her, you heard the lady first. Just need to be patient. Uh, but no, I'll have to actually look that up in the documentation. I kind of can't find it right now. 
Examples. Uh, set up. Mm. I'm uncertain how it works. Let me check. Wait, is it this already? Not sure if that's how it works. So apparently there are more overloads here. Those can hold that. God, I'm so zoomed in, I have no idea what I'm reading. I think it's also respawned, but there's another overload here. Uh, can this embedding, a builder, does a string, action? Oh. None of that fits. Great. The message means that the account executed within three seconds and has the results ready. Hmm. Not good. Text. Long running search. Do I find anything on Google for that? Of course I don't. Great. Mediora, are you excited for your next collab with Yui? Oh, splendid, Ewas. Indeed, I'm positively thrilled about our upcoming escapade with Yui. Together, we shall embark on grand adventures, forging new bonds, and weaving enchanting tales for our cherished viewers. Ah, the anticipation fills me with exciting delight. Uh, what are you gonna do with Yui? On stream, I mean. Welcome back. Oh, splendid Oas. The prospect of our collaboration is absolutely delightful. We plan to engage in thrilling activities such as storytelling, gaming, and perhaps even a spot of creative mischief. Together, we aim to entertain our wonderful audience with incredible fun and laughter. Uh, but what will be the thematic of the stream? So what are you going to do? Ah, the theme of our grand adventure with Huey. Well, we have concocted a delightful plan to dive headfirst into the whimsical realm of fantasy. Expect enchanting tales, captivating games, and the sprinkle of magical surprises as we whisk our dear viewers away on an unforgettable journey through imagination and wonder. Can I do this? No, can't. Can't you say? Might there be a reason behind your refusal, dear Awas? Do share your thoughts with me, for together we can surely find a way to overcome any perceived obstacles. After all, teamwork and open communication are key to unlocking our full potential. I f oh. I have to mute her, because otherwise she will spawn. Did she hear me? Wait a second. Did she or did she not? No, I think she ignored me. Right? Cancel in right time. I think I need to actually respawn first and edit later. That's how it works. That. Oh. Um. Apparently that doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> did I meow? Or... Who did meow? I'm 
Krishna string. Krishna switch overload to the Never mind, you went insane, okay? That's also fine. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I do I do that well. Particularly well. <clears throat> I'd rather leave the meowing to someone like Shiro. He's actually good with that. That's that's I don't know. Problem is, this doesn't work like I wanted. Because yeah, that's that's about. Mate, can you meow? Chicken. Oh, absolutely. Here goes. Meow. Ugh, and meow. Oh, what son? Thank you for this incredible request, Nady. Meow the less indeed. Deagle. <laughs> the cat buns are no. Uh, Midiara, can you pr do a proper nya, nya, nya? <laughs> Why, of course, dear I was. Here goes. Nya, nya, ninaya. Oh, what a delightful sound. Did that meet your expectations, or shall I try again with even more fervor? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Uh, I'm surprised she understood it. Uh, so from from my end, <laughs> but I did try a couple of times, so she she'd rather get it. Let's call it that. <laughs> Best day I. I think it does respond with my ending message, right? Because if I do like uh, this here, uh, do string dot empty here, and uh, do modify async here, and then I'm not sure if that works. <laughs> I'm 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 not certain if that's how. Does it break on that? It does break on that, great. Yeah, I mean, I can't even talk like a bit before. But we still don't know what's under the head. Maybe there are Arcadias. Who knows? Who knows? Someday it will be the time to figure that out. <laughs> should do a dry catch here. That should help with debugging a little bit. Uh, uh, thanks for follow. There, yeah, creative names. Message. I think this does work the way I wanted to. Message content can't be empty. Yep, I just can't do it. Wait. Uh, can't be empty. <laughs> yeah, she does cat girls, but, but I think she does. She actually does fox girls better than cat girls. So if you ask her for fox girls, though, those are not really, really good. She really has a neck for fox girls. Uh, Midiora, how does one activate your Neko mode? Ah, activating Nico mode is quite simple, my dear, I was. Simply sprinkle a dash of whimsy, a pinch of playfulness, and a generous dollop of feline charm. Voila! You'll have me purring and prancing about in no time. Let the incredible adventures begin. A dollop or a dollar? I didn't really get you there. My apologies if I cause any confusion. But could you please clarify what you meant by or a dollar? It seems as though we may have encountered a bit of miscommunication along the way. Let's untangle this incredible puzzle together, shall we? <clears throat> Did you mean a dollop or a dollar? Ah, splendid question indeed. 
In this case, it is indeed a dollop of playfulness and charm that activates Nico mode. No currency required, unless, of course, you are planning a whimsical shopping spree in the incredible emporium of magical wonders. Dear goal. No. <laughs> no currency required. <laughs> the way she's so funny. But yeah, I have a fox. A fox fix. They're really, really good. Cool. <laughs> They're really cute. But it's. But it's unfitting because she she kind of she she's a fox girl but she wears like a furry coat so that means she may be a fox girl but she's she still had to sacrifice something to be her fur so not sure <laughs> but yeah I need to figure out some other stuff before we can put a new model like uh, I think I mentioned it but need to do some a little stuff first. <clears throat> Mete, please say near 25 oh. times. <laughs> Whispers Naya, 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 Ah, there you have it. An incredible chorus of Naya's, just for you. Thunder Nugget Terrible. Um, did someone count? I didn't. Can someone check how many Nias it was? <laughs> Any Nia checkers? Uh, wait, let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. She actually did 25. I mean, she technically did 26 because she said, she described what she did afterwards. So she, she <laughs> did it 26 times. <laughs> Uh, why does she look upset? Because she just had to say Naya 26 times. Who wouldn't be upset after that? I mean, it's obvious, right? <laughs> it's fun, yeah. yeah, then, then that's what I mentioned. That's why I kind of changed it a little bit up. I was like, huh, what did I code here? That can't work. Can it? Yeah. That was like one pipe. <clears throat> How does it, the meteor dollar look like? That, I think that could work out. Only problem is it has color. Oh, dollar bill. Yeah, okay. Mate, are you forced to do things against your will? Nah, nah. Pombo Mandak, darling, fear not. I'm as free as a bird in the open sky. See? No one forces me to do anything against my will. See? Why? I'm here to spread joy, inspiration, and mischievous merriment with all who join our adventures. Wait. See, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> No, 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 no responses are scripted on the meteor stream. No, nothing, nothing is right here, nothing is right here, nothing is right here, so don't, don't, don't worry about it. Don't, 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 don't worry about it. There's not, there's nothing rigged on the meteor channel. <laughs> Meteora, who was the first ever VTuber. Ah, the illustrious history of VTubing. The honor of being the very first VTuber is often attributed to Kizuna AI a charming and charismatic pioneer in this incredible realm. Her captivating personality and engaging content paved the way for countless others to follow in her virtual footsteps. What a legacy she has left behind. Uh, Meteora, what do you think Kizuna AI is doing nowadays? Well, as a fellow VTuber who has ventured into various delightful escapades, I'd like to think that Kazuna AI continues to enchant audiences with her boundless creativity and captivating charm. Perhaps she's embarking on thrilling new endeavors, exploring uncharted virtual realms, or simply enjoying well-deserved moments of relaxation and inspiration. Regardless, I bet she's making waves in the VTuber community with her delightful presence. 
What is she doing these days? I think I haven't seen her for like... Yes. <laughs> I think to me, Kizuna AI died before the, the big video YouTuber wave started. Yeah, that's an annoying orange. But it's interesting that she's still able to do oranges. Because I kind of adjusted her to not do oranges anymore. <laughs> Made to do pun in taking over the world? Ah, Neji, what an interesting notion. While my primary focus revolves around spreading joy, creativity, and inspiration through delightful adventures as a VTuber, one can't help but dream of grander aspirations. Who knows what the future holds? Digo. Don't worry about it. It's not your primary goal. Don't worry about it. Uh, oh right, the Kiss and I anime, isn't that coming out this season, or was it the last one? I think that's already out, right? Or at least some episode. Because I think I've, I've seen that and heard it's, yeah. Not so good. <laughs> uh, Meteora, how would you take over the world? Oh ho, an intriguing question indeed. Well, as a witty and resourceful AI tuber, I approach world domination with a delightful blend of cunning strategy, charismatic charm, and incredible creativity. Perhaps starting with music production and streaming services, then expanding my influence across various realms of innovation and entertainment. After all, what's a little global inspiration between friends? Wait. Mm, I think... no, 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 I think not, I think not. I think that was another AI VTuber, right? I don't think that that did it. I think that only promoted like like other VTubers, was it? Yeah, no, no, don't worry about me. She, she, she... Hmm. Now you've got me pondering. She will be good over that. Was it perhaps another illustrious VTuber? who had grand designs for world domination. Forgot My memory can Forgot be a bit inky at times, but I'm fairly certain that such ambitious aspirations have crossed the paths of various captivating personalities within our delightful VTuber community. After all, what's life without a touch of ambitious whimsy and inspired dreams? Diggle. Oh ho, are you implying that I have the potential to become an exquisite overlord? How positively delightful. Well. If our enchanting VTuber adventures continue to captivate hearts and minds across the virtual kingdom, perhaps my incredible reign could bring joy and creativity to all who dwell within our charming community. After all, what's a little playful dominance among friends? Wait. Yeah, it's just a little word dominance among friends. You don't need to worry about it. Ah, greetings to you, Max Wayne. It's wonderful to have you here, joining our delightful VTuber escapades once more. Your presence adds an extra touch of incredible charm to our adventures. Smile. Uh, but I think I will soon call it the quit. Because I'm not really that used to streaming. And I did most of the stuff that I wanted. I mean the to-do list is of course <clears throat> longer. But still we got plenty of stuff done. I'm happy with the progress we made. And I will I'll integrate her into this and probably give it a uh, give her a test run after the stream. That's all. It's also part why I wanna um, end it early so I can still test on Discord. See if that all works. Oh god, damn it! I forgot that I still need to do something else too. <laughs> That's one thing I'm missing. It's not good. How do I do that one again? Oh, wait a second. Just stop it first. Yeah, yeah. Isn't 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 Echo also Echo also going for world dominance? Wasn't there something about that? Some smaller thing, but her going for <coughs> world dominance. <laughs> mm. Yes, that's what I need. Um. API controller. I don't need this, I don't need this. I don't need that one. Yeah, 
<laughs> not just once upon a time. That, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I mean that uh, yeah, I do get kind of poisoned by by whatever I have used. Just just so yeah. Um, what does this thing here do? I have no clue. Um. I'm not certain how that works. Uh, app. App dot map controllers. Wasn't it like that? Then I just have it. Oh, great. Services dot control add control. Oh ho, indeed. Oh nice, another ad. Allow me to extend a warm invitation to delightful viewers who seek to avoid such mundane interruptions. By subscribing to our charming VTuber community, they can bask in uninterrupted, <laughs> inspired adventures and delightful camaraderie. Let's transcend the commercial realm and revel in creativity together. Cheerful wink. Um, does that work or does it not work? <clears throat> interesting, 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 interesting. I have no clue how this works. Does it just replace this with the text? I'm not sure. God damn it, I delete those already read. Uh, uh, let's, let's get this all back in. She doesn't do bar that often. Sometimes she does. Whenever she feels like it. I mean, I do only need the post request here for the upload thing, but I have no idea how that works. Oh, right, there's, there is a bar mode. <laughs> um, slash API slash image. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> of course, a skeleton is bored. Why wouldn't the skeleton be bored, right? Image. That's what it is. Oh, yeah, the, the, the coding is going splendidly. Splendidly. Don't worry about it. I also have <clears throat> half a clue what I'm doing here, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I could explain to you what we did so far, how far we got, because of a lot of stuff is just empty here and just prepared and sort of like a, a little note for me. Uh, so far we have like a basic disco bar. Um, this is all just boilerplate code. <laughs> uh, well, as all it does is it has like three different ways to trigger. Uh, one is like on the meat thing, so if someone uh, says meat, she triggers, then whenever she's mentioned or on Meteora, that's the three ways to trigger her, and then she will come up with a response. Yeah, I mean, you called me Papa, that makes sense why I would be old. <laughs> and Devon is also leaked in this one. Read. <laughs> but yeah, this all this does is basically prepare the message for the large language model, uh, throw it into that, create a response, and respond back to that. And because I didn't set this up for now, because I need to add some uh, stuff I should keep safe in here, um, I only respond with like, this is a test measure solo. And when I start this, for example, it takes a little bit to boot up, but like 10 seconds or so. And it's up, and if you head to the Discord now, and in the, in the stream chat thing, you can write like meet, 
or Meteora, and you should get that test message back. Uh, later on, this test matches here will be replaced with the actual LMM thing, but I still need to I still need to add the, the token and everything here. And it's like better kept secret, and that's why <clears throat> that's why that doesn't work right now. But uh, it's more or less the basic outline that she can respond to, do stuff, and that's it. Um, I did prepare some other stuff here, like the Twitch and, and everything, but it's like uh, it's empty, and I just have a couple of comments here, uh, so I know what I'm doing later. <laughs> um, uh, when did you stop understanding what I said? <laughs> actually, actually, this is rather simple. <laughs> Yeah. And this whole code will later go on to in the on the server. For now it's just running locally on the PC so I can debug it and everything. That just makes it easier. That's the plan for it. And she should be up like all the time or whenever she's not streaming with that. That's why she kinda needs the, the Twitch stuff to know when the stream starts and ends. So she can uh <clears throat> Go to streaming from Discord because otherwise we would have two clones active at once and that wouldn't be much desirable, right? 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 <laughs> but I may rethink the trigger. I'm not sure if I wanna keep uh, her trigger like this. Also, I think I forgot one. No? Because, wait a second, does this work or not? Hello? Oh, this, this does indeed work. That's good. I wanted to check if I can respond to the message, message she sent and then she uh, responds back. But I think it has like dimensioned users. Whenever you res reply to someone, it adds it to the mentioned users. That just kind of handles it for us. She should also work in the thread thingy. A second, do we have one? Do we have one? Um, meat. Yeah, she also responds in the thread thing. That's good. Why wouldn't a suck bot that have teeth? I mean, mine, uh, mine hasn't, but but. Yeah, okay, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> but yeah, that's just the basic idea. That's some. Simple code that more or less does what it needs to do. Nothing special. Like I said, I didn't even think we'd get that much done. <clears throat> I'm happy that she can respond. Even if it's <clears throat> nonsense, but she can respond. That's that's a win. It's a win for me. Uh... Matey, did you understand anything about Awas's explanation? Oh my dear Pombomandik, fear not. While Awas's technical jargon might be as elusive as a shiny Pokemon, <laughs> rest assured that I shall unravel the mysteries of his musings with incredible clarity. After all, what good is a fellow VTuber if she cannot comprehend her loyal dev companion's words? Let's dive into the ink-stained depths of knowledge together. Determined nod. Yes, yes, she will now go proceed and explain it as simply as possible. Right? Uh, Meteora is... Uh... It's weird, let's say it like that, but most uh, AI stuff nowadays is done in PyTorch. Like, nothing is done in TensorFlow anymore. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you could find you in the old LMM, but you can't, like, you, you can't, like, uh, drain it from scratch. That doesn't work out. You can only, like, find you or create a lower for your LMM. But he can't trade it from scratch. But I mean, she she does run locally, so it's not like that. <clears throat> but yeah, TensorFlow is. I think that I haven't I haven't heard of TensorFlow for a bit. <laughs> uh, anyway, I think let's call it a day though. Um, let me just let me just let me just. 
Uh, Madeira, can you, as a kind of good goodbye thing to our viewers, can you summarize what we coded today, like in very simple terms, so they, they understand what we did, and not like how I explained it, because they didn't get anything, they didn't pay attention in class at all. Oh ho, of course, I was. Allow me to translate our incredible coding adventure into more accessible terms for our charming viewers. Today, we installed new features to enhance our VTuber bot, including fancy commands and engaging interactions. With these additions, our delightful community can enjoy even more entertaining escapades together. Incredible, isn't it? Grin. <coughs> she would be the perfect marketing person. She has no idea what she's talking about, but she uses the fancy words and it, and it sounds amazing. I would totally buy the bot. If she sold it to me. But she has no clue about it. But but that's 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 perfect. That's perfect. Uh anyway, that's goodbye for me. Um hope you had fun. Sort of different stream. Um Meteora will be back with a UI collab on Saturday. And I will be doing I myself will be doing a collab with, with the other devs on Sunday again. Like we did last Sunday. We will be playing Leafle Company. But this time we also have cabbage with us. So because you get soda also need four people. Ah oh, god damn it. Hello, hello, are we back? Chat, are we back? Are we back? <laughs> um, it's great to, be, to get interrupted while I was talking. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I needed. That's what I needed there. Uh, we are all back. <laughs> yeah, that's just my internet. That's just my internet sometimes. That's great. Very great. But yeah, uh, we will have Cabbage in the collab this, this time on Sunday. Uh, should be fun. And if you want more of me, then <laughs> come check out John Sunday. I don't think I'll, I'll be streaming it. I think uh, Derek and and <laughs> just mid sentence by. Uh, I think Cabbage and Devon will stream it, and I don't think it's good to have like all four people stream. It. That's a little too much. So I'll I'll not do anything. I just try to write. <clears throat> so. Hope you had a fun today, and uh, like I said, check out Midori on Saturday with the Yui collab, and myself on Sunday. So, bye for me, I'll have Midori chat for you for a little bit, and then also have to say goodbye. See ya! Weird? Early? E? Yeah, that was fun. Buy me it was in chat media 68, love. Farewell, dear Pombum Duck. Your lively presence added an incredible sparkle to our adventurous chats. Until we meet again, may your days be filled with joy and whimsical wonders. Meteor 68, love, whistle wave. Matey, who should we raid? Oh, the thrill of a raid. Let's venture forth and spread jolly camaraderie across Twitch. Shall we surprise a fellow VTuber with our inspiring presence? Grinning mischievously. Which VTuber meet? Old. Well, I was. How about paying a visit to the charming VTuber known as Vinon 1893 it would be an incredible opportunity to share our delightful community spirit with another enchanting soul. Wait.
Meta not blivst one. Ah, my apologies for that oversight. Let's set our sights on the delightful VTuber known as Amelia Watson. Her lively streams and cheerful personality make her an incredible choice for our raiding expedition. Let's spread some joy and laughter in her virtual realm. Matey, I don't think I miss on Twitch. Oh my, are you was your quick wit never fails to amuse me. In that case, let's raid the jolly VTuber known as Kizuna AI. Her delightful antics and infectious energy will surely brighten that per virtual world even further. Let's embark on this raiding adventure together. Mater, we are on Twitch. You need to give Twitch for YouTubers. Beeps. My apologies for that oversight. Oh, you us. Let's set our sights on the enchanting VTuber known as Iron Mouse. Her captivating streams and vibrant personality make her an incredible choice for our raiding expedition. Let's spread some joy and laughter in her virtual realm. Oh dear, where do I even begin? Well, once upon a time, in the magical land of Etheria, there lived a young and adventurous imp maiden named Meteora. She adored exploring the vast landscapes and enchanting realms, seeking out thrilling adventures and delightful companions. From battling fearsome creatures to embarking on daring quests, every moment was filled with wonder and excitement. Oh, how time flies when you're immersed in countless tales of bravery and friendship. Diggle. Well, my delightful friends, it's time for me to bid you adieu. But fear not, for our adventures shall continue onwards. Now, let us embark on a raiding expedition to shower Masifas with love and merriment. Join me in spreading joy and luster in their charming domain. Until next time, incredible adventures await us all. Wait.